Hey, welcome back to SourceFed. My name is Elliot Morgan. So apparently, Jupiter is huge. Pfft, news to me. I mean, I knew it was big. I knew it was the biggest planet in our solar system. I knew it was kind of gassy. I knew it had rings, but I did not know that it was two and a half times bigger than all of our other planets combined. Because that involves remembering numbers, which I, I can't really do. Like when people ask me my phone number and I'm like, uh, three? <laughs> I don't know. And you know what else I didn't know? Apparently, Jupiter's hugeness is so big, it functions as our intergalactic bodyguard. And yesterday morning, Jupiter withstood some sort of impact that could have potentially hit us had Jupiter not been standing in the way. Some people saw a huge blazing flash of light way up in the planet's cloudy atmosphere. A guy named Dan Peterson is being credited with first sighting the two second impact flash. Dan Peterson is an amateur astronomer, which basically means that he's an alien pretending to be a human and longing to go home. So he spends his evening staring up into the sky. He says it's a hobby. He's really just hoping they come back. <laughs> Dan, they're not coming back for you, buddy. Peterson stated, this morning, 9 10 2012 at 11 35 30 UT, I observed a bright white two second long explosion just inside Jupiter's eastern limb, located at about longitude 1 equals 335 and latitude equals plus 12 degrees north, inside the southern edge of the NEB, aka the planet's north equatorial belt. This flash appeared to be about 100 miles in diameter. I used my Mead 12 LX200 GPS telescope and a binovir working at 400 times for the observation. Seeing was very good at the time. Sorry, I went nerd on you there for a second. Then another amateur astronomer named George Hall, because that's a name a human would have, was actually filming Jupiter and then stumbled upon the post by Peterson. He went back to his footage and found proof of the flash Peterson was talking about. Now, the proof of whether this is indeed a comet or an asteroid or meteor, whatever freaking huge rock, will be in the next day or two if we see some sort of dark spot develop. But according to Cosmic Log's Alan Boyle, this impact landing on Jupiter could have literally saved Earth from doom. This is the third impact flash since 2009 that we know about. Apparently, Jupiter, despite being the Goliath of our solar system, is also kind of the David because it's massive gravitational pull slingshot space crap all over the place because it can take it because it's not a hero it's a silent guardian a watchful protector a really really big planet so in addition to us being just the right distance away from the sun, so we're not too hot, we're not too cold, and in addition to the insane circumstances under which evolution occurs, and in addition to the fact that we have managed to not blow ourselves up yet, we also happen to have a really huge ball of gas that protects us from being pulverized. Man, I guess you could say the odds of that are astronomical. Huh? You know? Because it's in space. Oh, I hate you so much right now. We are no longer friends. Now, when I learned about all this, I was like, man, butter my buns and call me a biscuit. I've been preparing for a zombie apocalypse, like with canned foods, a bunker, some guns, it's no big deal. But I'm wasting my time. Ain't no bunker gonna save me when the giant rock swoops past Jupiter and smacks into our green marble. And so I've been thinking about it, and I guess the only thing I can do now to prepare for the destruction of our planet is to maybe freaking stop complaining about everything. Or not. Let me know what you would do if you knew a comet was spiraling toward Earth in the comment section down below. And while you're down there, if you want to like or maybe subscribe to our channel, that would be fantastic. And we have this annotation with our five daily stories or any story we've ever done. My name is Elliot Morgan. And Joe is judging me.